In this video, I will showcase all of the new things that are coming to Planet Zoo with a new free update 1.12 or 1.12, however you want to call it. Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates, and welcome back to my channel! Again, huge thanks to Frontier for providing me with an early access for this new update and new Grasslands Animal Pack. Thanks to that, I am able to showcase all of the new things that are coming to the game a bit earlier. You are looking at the zoo that I created to celebrate the release of the new pack. There are some animals from the new pack that are not coming from the, with the free update, but still, I will show you all the things that you will get for free. So just ignore those animals, those things will uh, still work for uh, animals that are still already uh, in a game for the animals from the base game and so on. So let's jump right into it. Also forgot to mention about some hidden things that we'll talk about uh, at the end of this video because there are also new plants in this new update and there are new building pieces that I found so I will showcase them at the end of this video after I will show you all the official free things that are coming with, to uh, you with this update so stay tuned for that. So the first thing that is added with this new update and the thing that I love the most are the guided tours. And let me give you guys a quick presentation on how to set this guided tour for your zoo. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the facilities, go to the media devices and education tab to the education here and here on the very end you have the tour point. So you need to add this tour point uh, at the place where you want it to begin. So I probably want to start the tour in here. As you guys can see it snaps just like a bench or a bin uh, to the uh, edge of your path. So let's do it in here and now let's click on this thing. So as you guys can see this tour point is not assigned to any tour. We can now open the tour management and uh, we can uh, add a new tour. This will be a tour number one. I already tested it. That's why I have a tour number three in here. Uh, so we can uh, change the tour color. We can change it, for example, to green one. So we can have different tours around your zoos. Uh, so for example, the tour number one is green. The tour number, uh, I don't know, two is yellow and so on and so forth. Uh, we would need to select tour start. So this is the tour start in here, confirm. Uh, and then we can add uh, some more of those. To do, to do this, you, can, you have to still go back to the facilities and add those points next to the, in the places basically you, that you want the educator to stop and give those guys, the to your, your guests, a little, you know, animal talk and so on. So I will add them uh, in the front of all the exhibits that we have in this zoo. Uh, so one here, one here, one here. Oh, this one is actually in the exhibit. So maybe let's not do it that way. Let's move it back. Uh, let's add one here and we also need the one that will end the entire tour so we will end the tour in here so let's go back to our green tour let's open tour management and then let's select the points so we this will be the first point and uh, then as you can see there is a tour order so it will start with the tour point 11 then we'll have to report 12. I'm sorry for those numbers. It is just because I already tested it and I added some more. In this tab, you can also uh, change the, uh, the uh, order of those points, but if you click one after another, they will automatically be ordered in the, uh, in the uh, order that you basically click. So let's click them, click them all one after another. Uh, okay, and then confirm, and then what we need to do, this basically tells you what you need to do uh, one point after the, uh, the other. So we already selected the tour start, we selected the points, then we need to select the tour end. So this is the one that we left for the end, we need to confirm that, 
And the other, the last part is to assign species to talk activities. At first, I didn't know what it says, but we need to click here and go to all of those points uh, one by one and just uh, assign the species to those points uh, just as we did as we do normally with the animal talks so let's go here let's add the main wolf again those are those can be all the animals uh, the animals from the base game and from other dlcs will work just the same there is actually a wallaby in here Oh no, sorry. <laughs> this was supposed to be the... Uh, I think this was supposed to be the... Uh, emu. But where is the... There's the emu. Okay. Uh, the emu. The wallaby. The blue wildebeest. And the last one for the uh, striped hyena. What we also can do... Uh, is choose if the activity next to this point will be animal talk or just intermission. The intermission means uh, that this is a, basically a break in your tour. So we can add actually this one next, for example, uh, to the nearby guests and facilities to fill the energy and other needs for the guests. So I could potentially add one here. Maybe I will do it. So let's uh, add the animal talk in here. Then let's build another of those points in here. Let's add it. We need to go in here. Let's open the tool manager and let's select points once again. Let's add it here. This will be our last one. Uh, confirm. Then let's go back in here and let's do the intermission at the end. Uh, so that should be it. So right now when we open the tool manager, uh, why miss okay i clicked something like wrong so that's why uh, it didn't work but now as you can see the tour is operational so going back to our starting point uh, we can open this and we can also uh, because the tour fee uh, is also we can you can apply the tour fee for this uh, the ticket price including fee uh, is 20 uh, so if you will do uh, if you add the uh, tour fee the ticket price for those the people who uh, will enter your zoo because I have the price right now set to 20 as you can see but those who will go for the tour will pay 25 for the entrance or for the tour and will uh, be able to uh, take part in this tour so this basically right now should work as uh, your normal talking point I mean the educator is right now waiting for uh no this is the roaming to talk but she will wait for the guests to gather here and then this tour, tour will start so we will wait for it uh this is quite complicated i must say i also needed a uh, minute to figure it out but i'm sure that you guys will be able to figure it out yourself so i will go back to here uh, back here i will be back here to show you guys how the tour actually looks Okay, so as you guys can see, the guests are uh, like slowly, uh, they started to gather for the tour just like for uh, the animal talk and now the tour started. So our guide has this like sign and those people are following her. So uh, this is so cool. I love it. Just imagine all the possibilities. You can now lead people to places where the guests don't normally go that they omit in your zoos and so on okay so she now followed them to this like first sign of follow but guided them and now she will do a quick animal talk on the armadillos and after they'll be done they will go to the next one to the next one and to the next one so this is basically how the guided tour works we'll wait for her to stop uh, just to show you guys uh, how they will move further. I must say that I really love this feature. Once you get a grip of it, how to, you know, work with that, how to set it like uh, properly, uh, you, this is, this is amazing feature, I must say, and I am so, so happy that 
it was added. Oh my god, she's talking for such a long time. I know that armadillos are very <laughs> interesting animals, but come on, I want to show you guys how they are moving uh, further. Uh, and it's also cool that there are so many kids in this group, like listening to her, being excited. I just love this game so much. Oh, she even threw the food in here. Uh, I don't know if any of the armadillos will come to the food, but yeah, she did that. So uh, really cool stuff. Okay, so now uh, she's uh, guiding the group to another point. So yeah, really, really nice addition. I just love it. So yeah, those are our guided tours. Let's move to another new feature. So the next big thing coming to Planet Zoo with this new free update is the diorama mode. And to create your own diorama, all you need to do is go to the sandbox, uh, open a new zoo, uh, choose the biome that you like your diorama to be in. So we can, for example, go for, I don't know, temperate biome, uh, choose the continent. We can go for, I don't know, North America. And there you have the terrain type. And you all you need to do is to choose your diorama and create new zoo. So right now, uh, what you should see after the game loads uh, is a flat diorama. Yes, it is here in the middle of the sky. So you can see that there's just a block of terrain in here and we have uh, the sky in here so if you create something you'll have a really nice sky view i don't know why it's so like uh bright uh, maybe some i know different uh i don't know maybe there is something in the settings but what you can do uh, is click in here uh, and choose uh, the solid background instead of the sky so you have to click in here and then you can uh, choose your own color whatever you like so you can go for something green even black or whatever you will choose uh, so this is it and then you can also choose how you want your terrain in here to be so we can go for cube cylinder or hemisphere we can go for cube we can choose the size as you guys can see you can go bigger or lower and we can go for height so we can create something really small if you like to you have to every time update the terrain shape so it will now be really small or you can go for for example a cylinder uh, so make it bigger uh, and every time update and this will uh, appear so the hemisphere also is really nice one uh, if you would like to have something like this if we'll go uh, all the way this is just a big I don't know, ball of terrain. And what you can do now right now is of course push it and you know do all the things you like. You can add constructions, you can build here, uh, everything that you would like to. So yeah, this is the new diorama mode for Planet Zoo. I cannot wait what the com community will you know, create with this. This is so, so exciting. Uh, uh, this is all because of Rudy Renkamel. So thanks to him, we now have this new uh, diorama mode in Planet Zoo. Last of the officially announced things that are coming to this with this update, because there are some things like new foliage and new building pieces, but more on that later in the video. But last of those three things is the bulldozer tool. And we have this little tool here, here in the um, corner of the screen. You just have to click on that and this huge cylinder thing appears. And you, what you can do is choose the size of this thing you can choose the height because you can choose to uh, for example delete the things that are on the ground and leave the things that are over the ground or something like that like imagine a building that you can for example delete only the first floor and leave the ones that are uh, up there so really nice thing uh, so we will do a bigger height and here you can choose what the things you want to delete so construction in nature facilities and exhibits uh, path extras which are for example the benches the bins and so on 
paths, uh, habitat objects, uh, barriers, rides and tracks, water, uh, and this is uh, uh, this shows you all the uh, highlighted hidden. To the, you choose to highlight the hidden barriers or not simply. Uh, so we'll do all. And I have the game on pause because I want to try to delete as much as I will be able, including this habitat in the middle. I am very sad to delete that, but uh, I am sure that we'll be able to undo it. So with one click of the mouse, I should be able to delete part of the habitat, the donation bin that is in here, the paths, and also the plants that are in between the paths. So let's click that mouse. House. Uh, yes, we are about to uh, remove the barrier section. I am okay with that. Okay. And as you guys can see, what it did is basically delete all those things. Those grasses were probably not deleted because they are slightly underground. I tested that before, that's why I know knew that they wouldn't be deleted, but uh, this happens in all of the places as Oh, this is this happened here. So this is uh, probably something interesting. But you, as you can see, with just a couple of the clicks of your mouse, you just undo this. Uh, only that uh, this thing is now empty, so you have to put your uh, put your. Uh, butterflies and so on back in so be careful with deleting those things if you'd like to just you know uh, test this uh, but yeah this is a very useful tool if you want to delete your whole habitat and the area around it with just one click without needing to you know click on all those groups individually just go for the bulldozer tool and it will save your life and your time uh, so yeah let's move over to some new things added with this new update. So next we have some plants and those plants are part of the new free update. So everyone will get them and oh boy they are so amazing, so beautiful. I cannot wait to use them in all of my habitats because I know already that I will use them in all my, all my future videos and habitats and so on. Just look at those plants. So all of the plants that are coming are coming in the dry and normal normal version. This is the bl big blue stem dry large. We have this in large, medium and small of course. Amazing plant. Just look at it. And this is the normal not dry version. So this is the big blue stem grass. Really, really nice plant. And of course it looks amazing if you blend them together. Uh, as always, I love to do stuff like that. Uh, then really really this is amazing i just love it look at it this is the buffalo grass uh, dry and buffalo grass normal i guess uh, so again really really nice smaller gla grasses that i am super happy again that were added this just can work for all of your habitats or all the biomes all of the different i don't know enclosures but also you know stuff like uh, I don't know, just regular lawns in your zoos and so on. So we have the dry one, we have the green one and blending them together also looks so, so good. This is what I use to create this middle part of my zoo in here. And then we have a smaller plant. This is the old uh, red old grass. Uh, so we have the dry version and we have the normal version, which is also looking sort of like a dry one. Uh, but yeah, really nice plants. Really happy with those. Uh, combining them looks amazing and yeah, some of the best plants in the game. So uh, thank you, thank you Frontier for adding those because I know that I'll be using tons of them in my future builds. And there are even some new building pieces that will be added with this new free update. And those are some very, very nice pieces. Those are basically pieces that come with the butterfly exhibit. And so from now on, the butterflies can have a different facade of the walkthrough exhibit. This is the netting. So this is like a very, very fine, like matting, like a material, like a fabric that, you know, prevents the butterflies from escaping from the walkthrough exhibit. So you have have those panels that you can basically use yourself. Those are like those semi-transparent panels that I am sure that the community can, you know, 
find different ways on how to use them uh, this can be really fine with using really nice with using you know, I don't know for example uh, different lamps or uh, lights uh, uh, like in here and you know it will probably give some nice effects and so on but the things that excite me the most is this plant pot and this little piece that is a chain link chain or something and this is so tiny that you can barely see this but uh, definitely using it for you know different I don't know uh, small fences or in other places or this is such a little versatile piece that I can see some people going crazy over it because you know using it for basically I see myself using it for for example guest fences or stuff like that but I am so so happy that something like this was added so yeah some new building pieces and this is basically all okay guys so those were all the things that uh, will be added to the game with the new uh, 1.12 free update if you'll find something more because I didn't basically have time to go over all the pieces and find if maybe they did something flexi color or maybe I missed some pieces definitely let me know down in the comments uh, I was really you know rushing uh, recording those videos during the early access time so I might have missed something uh, if you guys enjoyed this video uh, please consider to subscribe to my channel uh, give this video a big thumbs up down below ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I uh, upload a new video and of course comment down below if you enjoyed it and what is your favorite feature added to the game with this new uh, free update once again big thanks to Frontier for providing me with an early access for this this really means the world uh, thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one bye guys